Hello and welcome to a new video. So today is exciting. I have a Monster High box here. As it says right here, it is Mattel Creations. I did get this doll off of Mattel Creations, so I did not pay any more than I had to. I did rip this off here because it was a sticker with all my information. But this box does not say what it is. They usually do, so that's different. Now, I did not think whatsoever that I was going to get these dolls. Because I got onto the website 20 minutes before the drop. And I sat there and I waited with my mum. And I got into the queue. And it said three minutes waiting in the queue. And I thought, I have no chance in hell in getting these dolls. These are going to sell out faster than that. But it went down actually quite fast. I don't know if I actually even waited three minutes. And it let me through and I brought them. And I cannot believe that happened. And I know it was a complete mess of a drop. And so many people did not. Considering I think everyone watching this probably should have seen the photos of the sculptors with 70 plus dogs. I have no words for that. And... I'm sad that that's happening. It should not be happening. But I'm going to be opening these now. And let's move on from that. So when you open the box, you can see through the paper that it is the Jack and Sally Nightmare Before Christmas dolls. So I will be opening this tissue paper. And here they are in their box. What surprised me the most was I didn't know they had a slanted back. So this part here is slanted up. Try and turn it around if you can see. If you can see that, that's quite interesting. I didn't know that that was actually on this box. Okay, but on the top of the box we do have a skelet and we do have a picture of Jack and Sally. And it does say Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. There is the Mattel logo over on the left and from the makers of Monster High Skelet Girl on the right. On the back of the box we do have a moon, so that is really cool. And it says once again, Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Down the bottom, it has a whole diary of information. And it does have J Hart S. So you can pause that if you would like to read. And down the bottom, we do have, once again, from the makers of Once High Collector. And there is what I believe is Sully's Basket. Just before I lift this top up, I would like to say I usually haven't seen the movies to these dolls because I am not a big horror, thriller fan. I can't handle most of these movies, but I have 
seen this movie. So I'm very excited to see them in person. And here is the box inside. It is some nice detailing on the top. As well as the sides. I love that it has zero. I wish that it included zero in the pack, but at least you'll get a cute picture on. And on the front of the box, it says once again, Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. On the side of the box, there are some snowflakes with some snow drops and the rest of the picture from the front comes around to the side. There are some graves on the bottom and it says colours and decorations may vary. Same to the other side. And here is the back of the actual box. We do have a picture of the dolls, Jack and Sally. And they are holding hands, that is adorable. And on the bottom of the box, it says Mattel, empowering the next generation through play. And in the middle, we do have the Mattel Creations logo with the 2023 trademark and copyright with the proof of purchase. So here is a close up of Sally. She has a really nice headpiece. It is all in black with her nice red hair. It is actually quite long, so that's good. The right side of her face with the scars looks like it is straight, but the left hand side looks like it is a bit on the upward scale. So it doesn't look as straight on the left side. And she does have a scar on her forehead coming down to her left eye. Which I think they did the best they could and I absolutely love it. If they gave her normal monster high eyes, I don't think she would have looked as good. So I'm glad with the decisions that they made for these dolls. She does have some nice earrings. They are the cat, which I think is a cool detail. And here is her outfit. It is a mermaid style dress. And she does have a purse. And it is the exact same one from, I believe, Threaderella? It's not exactly the same, but you can see where the inspiration came from. And that's so adorable, they are holding hands in the box. So, we were shown that her shoes had some design to them. Which my camera does not want to focus. Is Sally's shoes, they are extremely detailed and I am in love with them. They are all mainly black apart from the heels which the left heel does say deadly nightshade on it and that is such a cool detail towards this movie and here is the right shoe and it does say frog's breath these dolls look like they actually took time into making rather than a rushed release although the actual release wasn't perfect and here is Jack. I like the way they did his face as well. I like the depth of his eyes and how dark they are. And the stitching on his mouth. The nose actually makes him look like a skeleton. I like the big bow tie. That's so cool. And he does have his jacket, which does look quite thin. As well as his pants. I'm not 100% but a little while ago I think I saw someone take off his outfit and I 
believe it was just one piece all together. He does have three fingers and a thumb. I can't remember if that is movie accurate. I'll have to double check. And his shoes all the way down here are very detailed as well. Because of the glare and the angle that he is in the box, you cannot see his shoes very well and all the details of them. So I have taken this picture that Mattel did post of these dolls. And so here they are actually where you can see them. So because I have actually seen this movie, I can say that these dolls to me are a good representation of the movie. And if you haven't seen it yet, I suggest that you should because it is a good movie. There is a lot of singing. And usually I'm not one for that type of stuff. But I think they did a decent job. The dolls really bring out these characters. I really hope at least some people did get these. And I'm extremely shocked that I even did. So that is my review on the Jack and Sally Nightmare Before Christmas dolls. Thank you so much for watching and checking this video out. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye.